up y'all it's kennedy simone here and i am back again with another video i recently did a what you need to bring for your college dorm room video right before this one so definitely check that one out i'll put it in the i cards right here but today is going to be a what you don't need to bring to college um i know there's a lot of things that people tell you that you need to bring and have and stuff but do they really tell you what you don't need to bring, what you need to leave at home, okay? So I'm going to get y'all right. I'm going to get y'all together so y'all will be prepared and won't be overpacked and crammed in that little bitty dorm room, okay? So that's basically what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. Um, a few things that you should leave at home or not bring a lot of. Yeah, if you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe to my channel to be a part of Ken's crew because we're the best crew. And definitely, you know, follow me on the gram and stuff. I'll put it right here. So that's pretty much all I have to say. So let's just get right into this video, y'all. What you don't need to bring. Leave it at home. Okay, so what I would recommend that you don't bring to college is all of your clothes and shoes. Don't be like me because I was that person and I really did try to condense like what I wanted to bring to college. But somehow I ended up with basically my whole wardrobe except for like stuff that I knew I would not wear in college. So yeah, don't be like me. You can always um, get stuff shipped. So definitely pack what you need for that season. You're probably going to come home for Thanksgiving break and for sure Christmas break. Um, so definitely just don't bring all your clothes. If you're in a warmer place like me, just leave the winter stuff at home. You can get it later. Or like, you can get stuff shipped to you. You can have your parents or somebody ship something to you. For the most part, you probably won't regret leaving certain things at home. I literally had clothes under my bed that I never even touched because I just had too much stuff in my closet. I had nowhere to put it. So basically, yeah, don't be like me. Take my advice and just don't bring all your clothes and shoes. So another thing is tumblers and mugs and all that kind of stuff. Don't bring a lot of them. You only need like one or two. You can always wash them. You should wash them after you use them. You always probably have at least one. If you bring two, if one is dirty and you need to wash it and you need to use one right away, you have another one. But you don't need to be like having a whole bunch of dirty dishes out here anyway. So yeah, don't bring a lot of tumblers and mugs and stuff. You probably won't need them all. Probably just one or two. Um, and you'll be good. I'm pretty sure you'll be good. <laughs> so another thing is a lot of kitchen utensils. I would definitely not recommend buying a whole bunch of like kitchen utensils. You're probably not going to be cooking that much unless you like already, you know, cook a lot and know that you're going to be cooking a lot in college, which you probably won't. Even if you do at home, you might not. And also you'll probably be eating in the cab. You'll probably be eating at local food places, ordering Uber Eats, Postmates, all that kind of stuff. You probably won't need a lot of kitchen utensils. And if you do, just buy like a very small amount, like one of each thing if you like absolutely think you need to but that kind of stuff if you need it you can buy it when you're in college like you probably don't need to bring it so yeah so another thing is school supplies you don't need to bring a lot of school supplies because you don't even use that much in college to be honest a lot of stuff is online so you probably won't be using a lot of like actual school supplies i would just recommend you buy like a notebook a folder and like a pack of paper until you like get to know your professors and they'll tell you what you need and you'll kind of get a feel for the class of what you need and what you don't need and it most likely won't be a lot of school supplies and you can also get that stuff when you get to college once you've got acquainted with your class and your professors so yeah okay so the next one y'all are gonna hate me but a lot of room decor you don't need a lot of room decor this is not your house. It's not permanent. So basically, I would just recommend a lot of wall decor to like spruce up your room if that's what you want. Because wall decor pretty much doesn't take up any space because you don't really use the wall space as much. Um, and just a lot of knickknack stuff here and there. Like try to get functional things. So say your room is like pink, white, and gold or something. So just try to get like your pencil holders 
in those colors or like your calendar in those colors, wall decor in those colors, and your stapler and your scissors, all that kind of stuff in those colors if you want. Just try to use functional things as your decor. I didn't have a lot of things that just weren't functional in my room. So I would definitely recommend that you guys watch my room tour video. Um, I'll leave it in the iCards right here. Um, so yeah, definitely check that out if you guys want to know how I decorated my room. I feel like it's pretty nice. It's not too much, but it's not, you know, boring either. So going along with that, pillows and like decorative blankets. I did say bring a like cozy blanket for your room in my what you need for your dorm room video um, that I posted before this. But I would just recommend like just one. Like you don't need two. Um, just one. Um, if you do have two, like make sure you have room for it. Um, a lot of decorative pillows, you're going to be in your bed a lot. You don't need 15 million pillows on your bed. Um, I know personally I did make my bed up pretty much every single day. Um, but most college students don't. And I did that just because I knew I didn't have like a million pillows to put on my bed and organize and keep straight all day. So yeah, basically I just recommend like a few decorative pillows, you know, of course you're like two like main pillows or one if you like one pillow to sleep on. Comment down below if y'all like one or two. I love sleeping with two pillows, like one right here and then one right here and then you just like lay right here and it's like a little slant. Okay, yeah, but yeah, don't bring a lot of pillows and decorative blankets. Try to keep it to a minimum you know just a, just a good amount you already know you already know so another thing is towels you don't need a lot of towels i bought all new towels when i got to college and i just di i didn't need that many i think i had about five bad towels and i literally had so many washcloths like face towels it was terrible like <laughs> i never used like a stack of them like it just, I didn't need that many. I would recommend like five to like eight-ish because you're going to be doing laundry. So you're going to be using the same ones over and over again. You're not going to need like 15 million. I literally bought like 20 face towels. What do I possibly need 20 face towels for? I don't know, but yeah. So definitely don't be like me. Take my advice <laughs> and learn from my mistakes. You don't need that many. It just takes up space to be honest. So another thing is an iron and an ironing board. I know a lot of people say bring it to college, but I brought like the mini version. I got the mini iron or like a just a normal like kind of smallish iron and I got a mini iron board which is about like this long. And it was, you know, it was pretty small so I was like, oh, it's not going to take a lot of space. It's not that it took up too much space, it just, I didn't really use it like that. Um, I definitely did use a steamer though. It's way easier to use. You just hang up your clothes, which probably are already hung up anyway. Just hang it up and like steam it and your clothes will be like wrinkle free and all that kind of stuff. And like, you know, irons, they be like crusty sometimes. Even though mine was new, it wasn't crusty or anything, but it's just like, I don't know, when you, certain fabrics, irons don't work. <laughs> but steamers for the most part, like I've never really had any trouble with steamers. I didn't have one, but I always use my roommates. Like, that's the only thing I use to keep my clothes wrinkle-free was the steamer. I barely use my iron and ironing board. So, yeah, just try to use a steamer if you, like, are into that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend a steamer over an uh, iron and an ironing board. So, the last thing that I have on the list, and some people, you know, may disagree with me, but just a lot of books and magazines. You may be a reader and you like books and like reading books all the time. That's cool. I applaud you. But when you get to college, you're going to be having so much work. You'll be trying to adjust to the college life, make new friends. I don't know, join clubs, all that kind of stuff. Go out. You're probably not going to have much time for leisure reading. So I would just recommend bringing like a couple of your like favorite books or like a couple books that you haven't read from home and bring that to college rather than your whole like book collection or magazine collection because you probably won't use it and it'll probably just collect dust, take up space, all that unnecessary stuff. So yeah, I would just definitely recommend just don't bring so much like leisure reading stuff because nine times out of ten you're going to be having enough books to read for class that you won't have time for, you know, all of that extra leisure reading but yeah I would definitely recommend to substitute for that like buying books on like iBooks or like Amazon Prime or 
I don't know, like look up PDF versions of books. There's probably like a ton of those out there too. So yeah, that's what I usually do. Um, I brought a lot of books from home and I didn't really need them. Um, just because like I didn't have time. So yeah, I would just definitely recommend that to you guys so you guys won't make the same mistakes as me. Okay, so that's all of my recommendations for what I think that you don't need to bring to college. Of course, it's up to you, but I would highly recommend that you don't bring this kind of stuff just because you probably won't use it, it'll take up space, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Definitely comment down below some more video suggestions. I'm trying to do a lot of college related videos since school is coming up and everybody's excited. I already have some video ideas of my own, but I definitely want to know what you guys want because you're the ones watching and I'm making these videos for you to help you guys out because everybody doesn't know this kind of stuff when you come into college. I personally didn't know a lot of this stuff. So I, you know, look to YouTube and watch videos so I can find this stuff out and I'm here to make videos for you so you can find stuff out. Okay. But yeah, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on that post notification bell so you get a little notification every time I post a video. But yeah, definitely stay tuned for my other videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Kennedy